process for installing the generator. We've got an area pegged out here for pouring a concrete pad of three feet by five feet and I've got a trench dug here to 18 inches. It goes underneath the sidewalk where it's going to we're going to lay electrical and gas. And the gas meter is just right around here in the corner and the electrical is right behind this wall. So hopefully this will go pretty well. Probably spent about between four and six man hours of moving all this dirt and getting this set so far. Okay, so here is the concrete pad after it's been poured. Now we did have the option of using um, crushed rock alone, but because of the angle of this, there's a little bit of a slope here. I didn't want to have the crushed rock possibly sliding out and also because we were so close to the sidewalk. So this concrete pad is going to be uh, hopefully a better solution. And uh, so now I've just got the generator delivered. Came in a delivery truck on a pallet jack. And here's the generator in its box. And uh, I'm going to try to maneuver it over just down the hill there to that concrete pad next. Okay, so I've got the pallet removed from underneath. I put on these wheels in the back, which I just got off of a, uh, a tractor, lawn tractor dump cart kit. And I, pu I cut the ends off of the pallet so that I could slip a axle jack underneath the front, lift it up, stick that little moving dolly underneath. And I've actually secured the moving dolly with the same bolts that it used to be secured to the pallet. So now this should all move as one piece. Should be able to take the tractor, pull it uphill, and then let it ease back down into the pad. And voila, it is in place. I just have to take the rear wheels off using a crowbar to lift up and then take those wheels off. And it wasn't too bad. Pretty much went like I thought, except that it actually didn't roll downhill. I had to push it downhill. I used the tractor to secure it so they didn't roll away uncontrolled. Well, we have now completed the natural gas installation. Here's the meter. It's a one inch iron pipe. It goes just a short distance around the outside of the house. The yellow there that you see there is the insulation to prevent, prevent any corrosion while it's underground. And then there is a one foot flexible hose which is provided by Generac connect it to isolate from vibration. And start it up in the manual mode. And there we go. I actually verified the uh, sound level at 20 feet, which is their recommended distance, to be uh, 74 decibels. And that's actually maybe a little bit high because I'm bouncing it off of a rock wall back there. So overall looks good. Next step is the electrical. Okay, so the transfer switch is hooked up now. The system starts with two breakers from the main panel, which now supply power to the transfer switch. I've taken all of these 16 circuits here and I've rerouted them now to get from go from this panel so these breakers are no longer used. Now all those breakers are over here. And up top here, this is what switches between the utility power and the generator power. Right now this handle here is in the up or utility power position. Um, and right now all the breakers are actually off. But we're going to go ahead and switch off the main utility power and then in about 15 seconds, the uh, automatic transfer switch will sense that it's power. Okay, you hear the generator starting up outside. And the generator runs up to speed, and when its voltage is correct, there we go, it switches over to the utility power, or the uh, generator power. And then 
we are running on generator power and then at some point the utility power comes back so we'll simulate that by throwing this switch again now it can take about 10 seconds for the transfer switch to decide if power is back and okay and then it'll flip and then it, after that it'll actually stop the generator after about a minute because the generator has to cool down and that's what it looks like in here and uh, we did not use their flexible cable because it just didn't look well uh, we used EMT uh, went out through the wall we'll go around the other side of the wall here we are on the other side of the wall with our gas and electrical goes down into the trench there's our ground strap there and it comes down through the trench and we have our gas and our electrical hooks up directly uh, they, the unit shipped with a little box that um, is intended to be mounted on your house but because we're so far away and had to go through the trench um, we took out, took out all those cables and we replaced them with uh, with the wires um, and just hooked it directly into the uh, there's four control wires and then the, the two powers and neutral and ground and uh, we are all hooked up here now